They still were able to take down a very strong Liquid. I mean, as much as Liquid are kind of the butt of the joke sometimes these days, they ha they were actually looking really good. And oh my god, Shock's that, showing them brand new form. Is that what he's bringing to the table this evening? Yeah. How long do you think he's been waiting for that one tap? Misses the second, Woo. hits the third, and Masuda also gets Bubski down. So five versus two, Team Vitality looking very clean as uh, Strahler's tried to work their way down to the B site. So a 2v5 attempt. Bit of a ramp peak. Lucky trying to piece together where exactly this is coming in from, whether the retake has to happen or, in this case, Vitality just forced the issue. Swing out with them dual Berettas. Bubski seeming very focused on the closer peak, not so much mini, and then Dupree's gonna go and clear it. So yeah, sure enough, just the shocks came up from Vent, his kneecap must have been seen. And then the hut peak from Lucky, damn, that's crisp. Kyojin gets deleted. And Kyojin inside of the A site of Nuke, I think that's something that we'll have to talk about as the CT side of Vitality keeps going. Maybe we could talk about it now. Uh, how about you let me finish this 4v3? <laughs> you think okay. this is gonna happen? <laughs> how, about, how about you wait until the saves confirm? We're gonna wait until Kyojin gets another gun. Yeah. Okay, you can go. All right. And in the history of their upper nuke in this last year with Kyojin coming on, they originally had Masuda working with Kyojin to play upper. Zaiwu, once he gets blind, bounces one off of the wall to his left, and you saw it stop the front runner. Kyojin's just going to try to tuck his head down. We've already got this hut pop into the A site. Zipix will take shocks, but then falls himself. So Bomb has hit the ground, and so has Kyojin. Three versus two with Zaiwu inside the site, oh. but lucky with the tech nine. That is a big kill. Opens up sight momentarily. Damage back versus Astralis. Lucky's in with another kill. Masuda gives chase, and he's got two M4 headshots for that fourth Vitality round win. Beautiful. One on two from Masuda, and it wasn't interrupted. So here they throw the smokes again, which can cause a movement. It looks like he's going to try to sneak in a squeaky. This is one of his pocket plays. It works well this time. Great flash from Lucky. And now upstairs is under threat. Yeah, we've got Zaiwu in the back of the site, and Kyojin has fallen off of the rafters to play inside of the hut. Oh, Apex comes out from Vent, doesn't quite get his kill. Bubski bettering him. Kyojin, there's been so many bullets flying beyond, but it's really going to be Magisk inside of Heaven that could unravel this. Zaiwu has to watch it as his teammate comes up the ladder and presents his face on a silver platter. Now in the 2v5, Bubski getting Kyojin, Zaiwu, huge clutch attempt, but never meant to happen. That is Astralis right back at it. So Magisk, like you said, one of his pocket plays comes into mini. We had Shocks fully blinded, wasn't able to stop anything. As he wraps slowly outside, Zaiwu is aware of his rotation more than Masuda is coming up the ladder and gets caught off there. Uh-oh. Already opening up. Trouble in paradise. Yeah, limited guns. Astralis starting to find a little bit of tempo here. Variations on this outer play as well. This time, no wall of smokes. They still feel confident enough to just get themselves into secret. Oh, patience pays off. Now just one M4, and in the exact same spot as his fallen comrade. Oh, nice. Masuda, if only he was able to snap that second. Then we're really talking. Masuda the shooter? Shocks, though. This could be the big one. He just heard Dupree jump, plays the sound cue beautifully. Shocks, killer instinct. K killer instinct. And now it's Masuda's turn. Sure enough, Bubski offers himself up. There is an op holding over the shoulder of Zipex, but Zipex needs no assistance. What he needs is more HP. He's left on 11 in this two versus two. Thanks. Must have drank that bottle before he filled it with gas. <laughs> You know, inside hut, by squeaky, by the vent is normally where people are going to be. And the, oh, the timing. Oh, a Kyojin, if he's very careful, he'll be able to see feet. This is not a strong spot. But Zipix is so wise to come back out. Damn. And then they walk away, but somebody has to drop and plant. Now that's going to happen. Very smooth. Very good use of a low HP player. And Zip just playing around with timing gets the better of Kyojin. Shocks, though. Capable of a clutch. Man's won a couple here and there, but not this time. No, the double peak. Very well timed by Astralis. Wow. Just nice time in terms of the individual play from, from I almost said Zippel, Zippix. It's a weird, it's a weird situation because they did expel some of their utility. Man, they are reading this so well. I do not pity the fool. Oh, oh another. Nah, Kyojin only good for the one. Still, 30 seconds, like a dangerous game in terms of timing. Shox is just going to try to landmine himself inside of the site, but Bubski posted on him pretty quickly. And Dupree with a headshot versus Apex through the smoke. Masuda taking him out at the kneecaps, and Zaiwu 
We know what he can do with the D. He's got Dupree, and Lucky's supposed to follow, but Lucky, we need to see it from his POV, the double headshot pop, and Astralis with a 7-5 lead. Nice discipline. I think he forgot to charge his mouse once because he had that thing on a wire. I don't think it's on a wire anymore. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Oh, I just hits him in the back. Ah, beautiful stuff, nonetheless. A lot of the rounds have ended up with kills coming out of Yard, uh, which has also been interesting and kind of unique. Big, fast push. This is it. This is how they want to end it. With a bang, not a whimper. Into the A site. They go. Two kills. But then Masuda stops it. Triple kill from Masuda. Now that is what we saw out of him previously so far in this group. Masuda's multi-kills with massive impact. Finally, he's able to piece one together here versus Astralis as they trail by four. Magisk 1v2. Low health on both his opponents. But maybe the element of surprise certainly has time. That much for certain. This Apex, is oh no. He tried to connect the smoke so that he could block off Magis. He was actually using it to get outside. They are right beside each other. Okay, finally he'll get spotted. Oh, oh but no! he can't the spray! Magisk, 28 HP, and Masuda low has already gotten the 3k in the round. Will, will it all be for naught? Five seconds to spare. Commits to it. Will he expect Masuda to have walked up this close? Masuda, big multi-kill. Magisk, AK back out. But he's not paying attention. Oh. Predicts the mini peak. Instead, Masuda uses that time to close in. And so will Vitality, at least by one more round. Three is the lead for Astralis as they swap to their CT side. They had seven rounds out of nowhere. And event drop. And event drop, yes. Get All this. the fixing. Everything that you can do from home. Magisk dives into dark. Three players down here on the floor with him. He's looking to dance, but uh, they're looking to murder. Oh, nicely done. Apex taps into Lucky's head and a 5v2 for Vitality. Very comfortable opening pistol on this T side, but hey, two that guns better than one. Through squeaky as opposed to going towards ramp or otherwise. And once you do that, you saw Magisk. He squeezes for control. He tries to drop into this dark position, but it's a little bit too late. He gets spotted on the way in, and it's just how quickly Vitality transitioned from actually going through with his attack and actually getting out of control window, all this stuff, opening the decon door. It could be. It could definitely be. No. And it's not even over yet. The best day never ends. He hit that. It was damage. He did so much damage and then just now. as well. Like, all those bullets hit. It looked like he hit nothing. In reality, he hit it all. He just branded three players with a stamp. Man hit the jackpot. And Magisk about to steal his gold. At least the first one. Suda's able to answer right away. Bubsky's deagle at a distance. Ooh, things are getting spicy. I can just hear Maniac in the green room yelling, Why does everyone have dualies? Yeah. Maniac was yelling all day today because he predicted Astralis. Zai Woo. Open them their doors. Oh no. Or oh yes, depending on how you see the situation. Not ideal for Zai Woo. One versus three. 28 health, but a Mac 10 headshot no start. Oof. Dupree plays around with the sound, and Bubsky comes in big with the pistol kill. So Astralis right back to winning ways. And I hate voices. <laughs> We had you try one. I'm going to make you try him again. Yeah, well, Bubsky wants to try it again. Yeah. Gets aggressive. Gets into the lobby. Deals with Kyojin. Quick and easy. Do they go back for second servings? Oh, lucky. Up from secret. Bubsky side by side with Dupree. Gets the bomb down. Best Zaiwu. Full control Astralis. Dude, this aggression is different. It is absolutely relentless what the CTs are doing right now. It feels like they never stopped their T-side. Yes. They they do. They they. Ha I've seen the last time I saw this. I mean, Glaive was falling. They use it against Furia, who, you know, mm. funnily enough, fight one of the more aggressive fire. teams, and they try to fight fire with fire exactly. Yeah. Able to do a lot more here on the CT side in, uh, as an upper player in terms of aggression. I feel like some of the more timid stances we've seen from Astralis are versus buys like this, like really minimizing the likelihood of mistakes. And nice spray. Zipix anchoring from the boxes, parks his ship upon the heads of Vitality. 
And it doesn't seem like anybody is watching the back of heaven just yet. In fact, Lucky would not be running around this way if he thought Apex was above him. Lucky will get another kill, but Apex is getting information. Ooh, but he's in the open. It's nice. Good, good. One more. Able to get back into the second. Magisk just going to buy his time. Players go past. Oh, he and thought Silo. Yeah, he gets him in the back. Kyojin right there to clear it. 2v2 ensues. Astralis looking to lock in their 15th. And we've seen a few 2v2s. The majority of which go the way of Astralis. Now it falls on Zip. We've seen Lucky kind of siphon some of his clutch power as of late. Let's see if the older of the two can get back on that high horse. Nice grenade damage into the back of the site. Kyojin sits on a corner, but that's all he needs. Headshot connects. Vitality extinguish the flames of Astralis for now. Sure, they're still their hopes are still very, very high. And uh you saw oh. that nade, right? Yeah. So different. Did oh, you know? I don't know. I might have been distracted. There's a lot of noise. And I think this, because he got that kill, that just says so much about the round shocks alone here. Zipix gets the molly off and the spray. Oh. That'll get a kill. Kyojin almost, almost dies too. Oh! oh! What a wall bang! Yeah, Kyojin certainly dies to the cerebral senses of Lucky. I'm telling you, best day of his damn life. <laughs> I haven't seen get him it. out. I haven't seen that angle. Uh, with a wall bang work like that, that was brutal. That's going on live leak. Oh my god. World star. <laughs> Lucky finds timing versus Apex as well. Insult to injury. Zywu walks out, hits the leg shot. Bubski surviving on 15 to take Astralis to 15, and he doesn't even crack a smirk. That's crazy. It's all off the opening tactic from uh, Dupree, and there's so much action still going on. Shocks just totally doesn't uh, isn't aware that the kill is coming. Oh, he goes for that wall bang twice. Wow, it's something that he's definitely thought about a lot. It wasn't offhand. That was beautiful. That's impactful as it hits Zywu, drops him to 42. 46 for shocks. No bullet shot, and yet two players from the Frenchman down oh. low already. And physically down low towards the B site. Bubski, continuation spray to drop the bomb. Magisk with a player turn. This is it, folks. <laughs> Kyojin tasked with a massive clutch. Astralis are not only going to take the place in the Royal Arena over Liquid, but now they have a map advantage over Vitality as well. And the fact that it's just continuing on is extraordinary. Kyojin against five Titans. Got and nowhere to run, bud. No point. No nowhere point. to go. Except to our next map, of course. Vertigo is where we will find you after the break. That, of course, being the map choice of Vitality. Vitality have traded maps before. There's a 50% chance that somebody wins this pistol. <laughs> Actually wrong. <laughs> Finally, the execute comes moving inwards. Dupree will get Masuda first and foremost. Bomb plant's there for the taking, but at a cost. Not only do they lose their first kill, but then uh, the frag grenade's on the money. Zaiwu's got his hands glued to the bomb. He was doing arts and crafts. And now he's stuck. Pulls his fingers off of it. And now looks for some more kills, but Kyojin, it's him versus Lucky to try and turn the tables back to the favor of Vitality. That flank comes in from Magisk with a nice crisp headshot, and it falls to Shox. But Shox with a P250, Shox with any pistol, can tend to get things done. Not when the gun is empty, though. They're on the wrong bomb site as well. So there's two CTs inside of this one with a close rotate from Dupree. Shox will best Lucky. He's trying to spam away with his SMG, ends up getting killed for it. But Bubsky oh, back in, God. jumps up with the up three kills to the UMP. No bomb plant. And if they can run down Apex, well, that would be uh, the cherry on top. Oh, unfortunately for him, he's got to save with this scout. That's not even a fun situation. So they'll take this into the next round. No loss bonus for him. Ooh, fungus there. <laughs> oh, this spot's becoming very popular to try to stop things. Works out well, especially when you got a sharpshooter like Bubsky in the top ropes. Big Bubs with the big dubs. He's got support with Zipix here, but Zipix like, I got this angle. But like, no, 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 that's mine too. Goes out, that's four. Come on, oh. baby. A little bit of an ace. Clean it up. Come on. He has that uh, fur energy. He says, if uh, I don't get the Ecos, my team will lose. So there's no trade potential, and Bubsky starts to roam. He actually makes a very important timing cross here. This opens things up. Bubsky, we should keep a watch on him for a second, because, yeah, he, he could light things up from this spot. 
and lights it on fire, oh. but it doesn't spread fast enough. Masuda able to oh get away God. with a robbery. That's the bomb plant thanks to Apex. Man advantage to Vitality's favor. And then because they held on to some grenades, they're going to stave off the retake attempt. And just holding it back for that moment... You know, there wasn't a lot of consistency, even though he had some high highs. But he really has been, like, the, I feel like the biggest multi-fragger of the group. And the only factor that could pull this back for Astralis is going to be the solo M4. And Apex checks it. Checkmates it. If they can follow through into A. Bubski now, hands on the gun. Fire spread to the feet of the first CT, but there are three of them in this position. <laughs> Apex kills Zipix on the bottom of the boost. Yeah. But Lucky gets the kill up close. Interesting exchange. One still here in B. Shock's taking a long way around to make sure he can clear things out properly. Ooh, almost. Gets dinked, but Kira Genorda did some damage. There's some more. Boom, bop. Three to three. Comes to a close. We're tied early on. And let's see how the CTs want to fight. Very patient lurk so far, but as they start to scramble over towards A, sure enough, he's got his ball rolling. Zipix and Masuda trading blows over towards the A site. Shox does find timing to get over towards B. My god. And Zaiwu has a kill versus Lucky. Zaiwu, the bomb carrier, of course. At this point, you want to give Shox a little bit of time. He's got the back line compromised. And now it's the B site that's actually really under question. They don't maybe know where Dupree is. He hasn't got a kill yet. But they know he's certainly not in the B site for now. Apex pushes through the CT smoke to give chase to this. Dupree able to get that mid kill, but at a hefty cost. He's got 13 health left over. He's worried about another A player, but it's right behind him. <laughs> so that's that. A bullet to the back of the brain. Apex takes Vitality back into their lead. Bubski and Dupree got aggressive with pistols in mid. It has been... Oh, my goodness. That stings. They want to attack him while he's out here. And oh, there's his health dead. Dupree's out, Lucky, spammed. Oh, everyone dies in the back. I mean, this is just vitality. I don't I want to say like with just a showing of comfort, right? Uh -huh. All the angles, all the timings, all the strats, all the adaptations. They're just running away with this Vertigo game. Like it's not even close. Yeah, this is more like how, you know, uh, Liquid dealt with them when they were up on the CT side. Mm. You speak truth, brother. It's a great start, but that was so long ago. Magisk, he's got the chance to maybe gun down a couple players. His teammate fights over towards short, and that's Bubsky with everything to do. But Shox has had enough, and Vitality have their goal achieved. They are on fire. Smoke goes flying forward. 30 seconds on the clock. Vitality at least lending Astralis time. That could be their fifth teammate in the moment. But Apex, headshot versus Zip. Bubsky oh. goes over top, loses the off fight to Zaiwu, and then it is nothing but Vitality on the kill feed. The short gets cleared, and Magisk one versus five. Good luck. The moment he arrives, there's just a fire on his feet, as if to signify this one is over. And if it is felt over for the last 10 rounds, I would understand why. Nothing but that pistol push in mid going the way of Astralis in what feels like forever. And there's a lot of money on the line for the World Final, so... It's almost all the way up. Yeah. But nobody can unseat Gambit. Let's, you know, yeah, no one can unseat Gambit. That's fine. Just a couple other spots to come and contend for. I, I think Astralis' key side, you know, I think it'll actually be a little bit better. Uh, so maybe they'll, there's a chance for them to be able to pull this out. I mean, it looks like a very furious T attack. And I really love the, the simple attacks now with just the smoke on the left side. Now the wall smokes on the site. Everyone's trying to avoid the smoke spams, and I love that. Yep. It actually makes the map look so much better. Wow, okay. okay Just dude. quake fragging. I okay. <laughs> Shocks though, you know, always good for the pistol. Everyone's sharp. Apex having to rebuild this gun every time he puts the flash away. He is really good at these quick keys. Like, oh Ooh, yeah, that's Suda with no flash. Now the flash comes oh. in and it works so oh, it works so wonderfully. How long he sat and waited. Gets the first one on the dry peak, primes shocks for the 1v2. Now, Shox has armor, Shox has the deagle, and Shox has been set up for this. Very hard duels. I feel like if you asked him, he'd be like, yeah, I kind of like that angle and that challenge. But yeah, it was just perfectly. The quick pop out, first shot, flash to connect, another two, no problem. Triple A player. Yep. Oh, 
fully charged. Mm -hmm. Oof, that went right through the metal rim as well. Small, but powerful. And Shox is very much locked into those deep B stairs. Bubski, oh, oh, he didn't see Kyojin peeking over top of that wall. And it's funny because Bubski played that exact same position when he was on the defense. Yeah, because he learned something today. He was clearly trying to hide from that spot, but didn't realize how exposed he was. Wow, I Kyojin, can't believe it. Yeah, that's a huge punish. My goodness. that's That makes it 3v3 plus mid control. Dupree able to turn 90 degrees and snap into that CT peak. I thought that Kyojin played that perfectly. I thought he had him dead to rights. Frag grenade, excellent timing. Oof. That's perfect for the M4s. Civic's so like, how do you, how do you know? Yeah. And now this back peak is going to be great. Apex executes Lucky and Zipex. And Apex has looked fantastic on the second map. 19 and 7 after these two kills, leaving Dupree stranded in his own spawn with no time on the clock to do anything. Yeah, right? You're just I, punching I, yourself in the face. My own Spain. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. On the bright side, it is... It, the clearing this is actually not that bad. I mean, this is the one box you stand on, so I'm yeah. sure they're going to come out swinging on it. And Zyru, good for two. Wow. Oh, oh. Got himself a third. Bubski makes it easy with a team kill. And a great flash from Dupree to help him out with that as well. It might be a bit too confusing to know where these footsteps came from, from this spot. But yeah, okay. It looks like they have the idea. And... Miss oh. Okay. There of course he'll get three. That's the three. He is Mr. 3K. That is the Masuda seal of approval. He doesn't get one, he doesn't get two. It's gotta be three. Two of Astralis's core members still alive and kicking. Some of those angles are so hard to figure out. Like yeah. once Masuda's on that stairs, see Bubski is just like, what? This one too. You know what? This is not a bad spot for the T's, but they have to get the kill. Masuda looking for the ace, doesn't get it. Continuation spray down go, the ramp. Go, go. They are both eating bullets. Come on. This is a Zipix clutch. Oh, the oh nade. my God. Self nade. How low are they? There's one coming in from the back. Zaiwu, yeah. if he goes down. He just made sound. Oh, they oh. saved the volley for it. Ah, damn you, Vitality. Uh -huh. I want they literally to both yeah. almost died from that spray through the wood wall. All right. Astralis, you knew you had a minimal margin of error coming into the second half, but you still have five rounds to work with to try and take this into OT. Zaiwu, not going to let that happen easily. Shots posted with the op. Masuda, sure enough, puts his name on two. And we've got Bubski and Dupree this time in the clutch. Shock's ready for the wide peak, not prepared for the top box. Oh. Dupree with the double. And that comes at a very small cost. He's still on 74 health, but Zaiwu has their bomb. And Zaiwu, well, Zaiwu should have this one locked and loaded. Peaks out wide and dies. This is a two on five. Interesting. Almost in the position where he can get one kill and then he can just try to hide. And now we'll. This is the most standard way to play this spot from where Kyojin is right now. But he's going to round the... Oh, he I'm, hears it. I'm sure they'll expect him, but he can just Stop. delay. Oh, nice. Crisp headshot into Bubski. That's the two health. Now there's no time for Dupree. He needs both the kills, and he gets sandwiched. Vitality will take away the second map. And it felt like that for the vast majority of Vertigo. Vitality knew coming off of Nuke that they could turn it around here. Rally the troops. The general goes over top first and foremost. At least they used to in the good old days. Yeah, Lucky has one flash. We'll see if he wants to use it. They do give up on the stack. There it is. A flash comes out. Ooh, and a punish. Yeah. Kyojin able to connect one USP headshot. And then he's going to try to find, like, an awkward angle around these smokes. T's trying to jump over. He does get Lucky. Oh, and what? the pop into Bubski. That's a tap and a half. Kyojin in with another. That's four kills for Kyojin. Looking for the ace. Looking to cut them down. Instead, he's chopped. But replaced by Zaiwu. Vitality take first pistol. I think it's a big enough win there for Dupree to get that kill. Because that was almost too beautiful. What a round from Kyojin. That uh, third kill was unreal. First on the punish here on the shot. And if you missed it, look at that flick. Mm. Beautiful stuff. Bubski out and down. That's also great tracking here. All gets taken up, but this is kind of a bait, right? They go and try to recollect it, and now it's it's this mid squeeze. And look at the attack! Oh my God! Of course he does. Shocks alone in the B site. Just the farmers to work with. Two players coming out, but they're disjointed. Bubski runs around the corner before Dupree is really ready to trade. So Shocks does a good job of cutting off the first and then damaging the second. Lucky remains in middle, floating with that scout, misses his chance at damage output, and Zaiwu looks to join Kyojin on the fight into the B bomb site. Kyojin cut as he tries to drop down from the window, and now Zaiwu 
It's too good of a gun. Yeah. There's always a game with, you know, when you drop a gun, that's always consideration from both teams instantly. Where is yeah. that, where's that gun drop? And is it a bait to go back and get it? Like you said, right? Those weapons, they instantly become the rope in a game of tug of war. Kyojin just wraps it up around his shoulder and gets going as fast as he can. But Masuda dies and the USP peak from CT works well. <laughs> Apex taking his time with the end of that magazine, but the counter terrorists look to line them up here inside the B site. Zipix gonna be able to take away some pressure here. Bomb plant at the very least. Economy secured, but Saiwu still close on the retake. AUG up close, and now Kyojin's able to trade for both those kills. It's lucky backsight to die. Kyojin defused for vitality. Bobski's looking to take an early contact. Compare this to the way he was tucked in last round. Now trying to play around with the timing on the execute. Again, the flashbangs are going to be a key piece to this hit. Apex back by Carr, able to catch Dupree with his head turned. And they know Shoxy's over here, but Magis wants to trade on this Carr player. Apex arriving big time. And he was a key piece to the early success on Vertigo. Oh, Lucky snaps down into him. Saw Shox jump. jump onto the plat. They want to molly big box or just clear it from the right. Let's see how they approach it. Come on, can't... Oh, oh no. despite being blind. Shocks with a deep headshot, no flick for Lucky, and Vitality right back to winning ways. This is five consecutive rounds back and forth. To let Astrala slip away with a BO3 win, it's supposed to mean something to take a BO3 off of the likes of Vitality. Apex, nice timing, crawls up the catwalk, three kills, and almost the fourth one, but Magisk will be finished off by Kyojin. Gonna try it again, huh? This time with guns. Kyojin. Oh, that's... oh my god. Up wow. close versus Magisk. And then a second. Kyojin so primed for the third as well. On high alert because of that audio cue. He is mowing down this offensive from Astralis. Zipix. Oh, his fourth victim. Now that's right. Style points. Swap out to the D. Oh. And Kyojin takes them down. Damn. Big money, Kyojin with the ace in his anchor position here on long. He is cementing himself fully. Does Bubski actually join the fray or does he just sit around and try to cut off the rotates? Because there's another four terrorists looking to chop down this B site. And sure enough, Masuda, oh, -ho, goes down empty shocks. Nice second kill into Magisk. And then these crit headshots continue. He tries to dive into the cover. Bubski's been tagged to 37 elsewhere. And sure enough, this one's swept under the rug. We've got Vitality on fire. He's got to like how he moves. And he's got some words for his team. That's, that's an exciting one. We do still have Zipix back in tunnels, so let's say Lucky drops down into CT, which is what looks like is about to happen. We can get this retake going, but Dupree with his hands on an AK. This would be a bit of a robbery for Astralis, and honestly the kind of thing they need, because with Vitality on fire, with Vitality convincingly winning all of these rounds, you know, it's a nice little bolster of cash, and Lucky's in a really cool position. Executes the player up close, and taps <laughs> away at Zaiwu with a saved op. This is free weapons. This is like that kickstart, okay, for Astralis. Fade away from this. Yeah, I don't know if they want to try to drop in a CT, but they're trying to fake this cat presence. Wow. Man, over top of the smoke. That's I... 2 0 for Magis versus Zai with a punish from Lucky. Another important T side kill here in the refrag. And they're still rocking this boat back and forth. Masuda's inside of the smoke in the B tunnels. This is about to fade, and he's got Lucky up close, but he gets the first kill, and Zipix gives cover. Magisk, late lurk on A site. Now it's on Apex. He turns back around and gets the kill at a distance, but it costs him 70 HP, and he peeks to his demise. Lucky, two crucial kills on the re-peaks versus Vitality to keep Astralis. Come on, do it to him. If Saiwu cracks his head like Fallen did, that'd be big. The 5-7 tries to snap. But instead, it's the neck of Vitality broken in half on long. There's the peak from Zaiwu. Only him and Shox left to hold off in this 2v4. And Dupree looking to seal the deal on this T side. A 6 9 T side from Astralis would be wonderful, but it's not over. Half the health, <laughs> three more players to drop. Zaiwu has a chance to re-aggress on Cat, where he's going to hear that bomb running over. And the long cross goes down without killing him either from 40 down to 16. Someone's close. Bomb has been planted. Access denied. Molotov lands on bomb and that one's gonna spell disaster for Vitality.
Run, my friend, run. This one comes to a close, and Astralis rocking the boat back. That is four of the last five rounds in this opening half. Can they take this the distance? Can they get the edge over Vitality? Let's see what can happen. It felt like Astralis' first half was going to be a bit more flat than that, but they really brought it back in the end. And for that reason, what? I look oh. forward to seeing what they're made of. Bubski, two headshots here inside of the tunnels, and Team Vitality pump the brakes. You see this instant push out long, and this is the key moment. Yes. And now they know it's going to be running back, so this information will be cooperated as well. There's no B hit attack coming on, but, you know, lucky you can play it as slow as you want. And he's going to sneak into a tricky position. Oy he oy. did it quickly, so we'll see if they clear him out. But they are going to be looking, I think. Oh. He gets it. Man, what a tough shot, man. Kyojin's like jumping downwards, kind of spinning on a swivel. Still, props to Lucky. He gets what he needs, right? Continue to cut down the numbers. But we know that Masuda is the king of three kills. Damn, that's so tricky. You see, uh, Zipex actually goes behind the long door as well after the push out uh, from Lucky. Ooh, three is whoa, whoa, his whoa. magic number. Hold on a second. You should know better. Double flash Molotov. All right. What can you do? What have you got for us? They... Oh, Jesus. All right. Nothing. Yeah. Okay, Zipix. But for now, we focus on this fight. Between some of Europe's best. Oh, my Wow. God, dude, somebody's been watching Masuda <laughs> demos. <laughs> I'm they telling you, it's like ground yet. Dude, all the players are like, oh, you think you're best with the FAMIS? Yeah. Like, the FAMIS stonks are on the rise. Mm -hmm. And just like GameStop, it makes no sense. It makes no sense, yeah. <laughs> Bubski, gonna be given support here. What? Oh my god, dude, headshots galore. Lucky, he goes down, and it is just Dupree. He has no time to throw even some regular nades. What a spontaneous slaughter. Oh, it looks like Dupree will treat himself to a save Thomas. I could see that, yeah. Me more so, I think. Yeah. I'm more like Troy. <laughs> Damn, Masuda. And then Zywu right there. It's like, it's like as if Masuda wasn't like that on point in that moment. He opts not to. Calculates and crunches those numbers. It's gonna be the walkout through middle and another unexpected position versus Vitality. First over towards those boxes and again here in mid, Magisk. Knows he can just keep his head tucked. These players are going to be fighting tooth and nail to try and get this bomb onto the site. And of course, Zaiwu just no scopes lucky through smoke. His name seemingly redundant. Zaiwu in with a second. This is that kind of factor. Zaiwu, he's got himself a third. And there's a challenge in from Ramp, but Dupree's going to push. And he's going to stop that bomb. Oh, why'd he have to plant the bomb? Ah, oh, so close. You knew he would have ace if he didn't. That was. You're still obviously favoring the CTs when they get these two kills this easily, but man, do they make that really competitive. Okay. Such a beautiful punish. Oh, this third one, too. I wish so badly, so badly that Kyojin had the ball. Yeah, or if he got that kill as 2v1, that would have been nasty. If Shox gives up this kill, then suddenly Astralis have that cat hold. But it's all about Shox right here, right now. And, of course, he shuts down Dupree. Splatters him on the double doors, dodges the flash. Nice reposition. Just that slight adjustment to get himself a second. He's done his job. And Lucky just extended around the corner far enough for his hands to be ripped off. 1v3 for Magisk or a 14th for Vitality. Those are the two outcomes. And it begins with a quick headshot into the biggest of scalps. Zaiwu taken out of this clutch situation. Done clearing the site, one on the ramp. Apex really low, but that's the op over towards long. That nade could have made the difference to taking him out, but he doesn't know that the op has been picked up, and Magisk will approach quite hastily, but there's got to be no odds for him in this spot. Apex hits a great shot. 14 to 9 here for Vitality, knocking on the door of victory. Something to Magisk, but he played it really well, just dodged the danger. Oh, of course! Okay. Of course! All right. Apex lands that headshot. All right. It's like that. Oh, that is salt in the wound. Masuda going to punish the top mid push and the scrambling CTs working with such minimal tools on this one. Bubski 
it's a nice attempt. A valiant effort with the MP9. Two frags here towards the B site. This is the bomb carrier, and if, if Zip was able to get that crispy headshot, then there's a chance. Grab a gun and finish in the 1v2. But instead, Vitality will have six map and match points. Yeah, it is time to bring it home. It's a chill mood. It's a wow. ridiculous kill to get started on match point. And that's an instant tilter through the smoke, off a of timing, with a spray. Vitality, they know they've got their foot on Astralis's neck. Oh, Bubsy's close. He can't back up too much. Zaiwu, he'll get a kill uh, Oh, through the door onto Magisk. Yep. That's two at mid. CTs are hanging smoke. out, as they should, but Bubsy no will get punished. Looking all directions as Shox tries to figure out where his next target will be. Maybe in upper tunnels. No. Bumpsky oh, comes, comes back. back. <laughs> oh, man, he almost got caught with that bad time to reload. Instead, he's like, nah, this is mine. And he finds it. Remember, two players tagged up from Vitality. So this could be the final push of the first group here at Blast Fall Season. Zaiwu drops Bubsky and the bomb. Throws that task over to Kyojin. His hand's now busy. Jumping MP9. Zipix, it's desperate, and it's so damn close. But now it has revealed his hand. And with a sleight of hand, he should be swept away by Zaiwu. Kyojin, 30 health. After the aerial acrobatics, his back turned to what's going to be his end. You'd assume that AK should have him dead to rights. Zipix softened even further. Zaiwu leaves. Wants to play as the insurance policy of their 16th round win. And folks, there it is. Kyojin closing as Vitality get the best of Astralis. But damn, were they tested. It's an easy close in the end. Just want to shout out Kyojin for a fantastic map and a fantastic show.